Call the meeting of the City Council Special City Council meeting to order for Monday evening, June 8, 2015. Would you please stand as we salute our American flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Good evening, Councilors and guests that are present here this evening. <coughs> Mr. Clark. We have the call of the meeting. Mr. Zioli, members of the City Council, I hereby call a special meeting of the City Council for the City of Brockton to be held in the Council Chambers on March, June 8th, Monday, June 8th, 2015, at 17.50 p.m. 7 p.m. The subjects are to receive the report of the Committee on Ordinance and act on any related matter and all other related matters. <coughs> Respectfully submitted, Council President Dennis R. Ianeri. Accepted and placed on file. We have the report of the Ordinance Committee for its meeting of May 27, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. We have an ordinance <coughs> amending Chapter 27 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton. Be it ordained by the City Council of Brockton as follows. Chapter 27, Zoning, is hereby amended by adding the following new section, 27-32.100, after section 27-32.95, as follows. Section 27-32.100C-9, uh, Resort Casino, Overlay District, favorably as amended. Questions on the amendment? All in favor? Opposed? The amendment passes. Councilor Cruz. Uh, Mr. President, I have a further amendment that's in the hands of the clerk which is offered to clean up some grammatical errors in the original ordinance and some ambiguities uh, uh, that I'd offer tonight. Thank you, Councilor. clerk has that, I believe. I hereby move to amend section 7B of the foregoing ordinance as follows. A. By inserting after the word higher the words above the top of the wall to which it is attached. B. By deleting the word the just prior to one. C. By inserting, if adjacent to a sloped roof, after one and before the words, the peak. D. By deleting the word A in 7B, paragraph 1, before the words sloped roof or inserting the word the in place thereof. E. <coughs> by inserting, if adjacent to a flat roof, after two. F. By deleting the word greater in 7b paragraph 2 and inserting in place thereof the word lesser. G. By deleting the word A prior to the word parapet and inserting in place thereof the word the. H. By deleting the word A prior to the words flat roof and inserting in place thereof the word the. The amended paragraph in 7b Thereafter, we'll read as follows. Wall signs identifying or advertising the resort casino or venues, programs, and activities, promotions, or uses within the resort casino, provided that no more than 15% of any individual wall facade may be covered with such signs, and no individual wall sign shall extend higher above the top of the wall to which it is attached than one if adjacent to a slope roof, the peak of the slope roof, or two, if adjacent to a flat roof, the lesser of I-12 feet above the top of the parapet, wall adjoining the flat roof, or to 45 feet above the adjacent grade. Questions on the amendment? All in favor? Opposed? The amendment passes. Question is on passage to a third reading as amended. All in favor? Opposed? It goes to a third reading. Thank you, Mr. Clark. An artist amended establishing homeowners' rights in the city of Brockton relative to certain foreclosures, Chapter 16, Foreclosures, Article Y, 
Bill of Rights for Homeowners in the City of Brockton. Recommendation favorable. Questions on a passage to a third reading. All in favor? Opposed? It goes to a third reading. An ordinance amending Chapter 23 of the Revised Ordinances of the City of Brockton be it ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 23, Section 30, <coughs> Paragraph S, 6, Water Consumption, Passage Favorable. If nobody objects, I believe our CFO, Mr. Condon, um, you wanted to um, say something in regards to this? Well, uh, prior to the passage of the uh, uh, ordinance back in committee, there was some discussion about putting a um, amendment in to provide some protection to low income. And I think if that's what you're talking about, then I uh, <laughs> provided that language to Dennis Denapoli. Okay, uh, so is that that's what it's referencing? Yes, it basically would take um, what is now a procedure for taxpayers to obtain property tax relief under the Mass General Laws, which provides for abatement and exemptions for low income or low assets, and use that same list to provide an abatement of a water bill back to the minimum charge. Okay, no councils object to uh, hearing from Councilor Denapoli. I know he sits on the Ordinance Committee. Yeah, Mr. President, Jay, is this uh, I, item, item six, the water, water rates, we're going to do this to, or is, is it five? Well, I, I was just asked to step up. I don't have the agenda this in front we're of on, me. We're on, we're on item number five, and that's uh, water consumption. The water rates are, is the next one, Jay, six. Okay, well, then I was brought up prematurely. Okay, <laughs> thank, thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mr. President. No, we, okay, so we, it's we, we will do this in six, I hope. Num number six, okay. okay. So my error is what well. <coughs> So the question now on item number five is to a passage to a third reading. All in favor? Opposed? Now we go to item number six. And if no one objects, Councilor Denapoli? Mr. President, you want to have uh, uh, the, the clerk read the clerk it first read it, yes. and then we'll, we'll make the uh, amendment coming? The clerk, clerk will read it first. An audit submitted to Chapter 23 of the Revised Audits of the City of Brockton, been ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows, Chapter 23, Section 30, F6, Water Rates Increases, Recommendation Favorable. Councilor Denapoli. If no one objects, thank you, Mr. President. If no one objects, I'd like to have Mr. Connor come up and this is, this is part of this program we, where we already have the increases uh, for the four years, but my, my objective was that we do not want the water department to come in front of us uh, for another 30 percent increase or a 10 percent increase. So what we're going to do is we're trying to build this into this, and this is what this will be. Thank you. Okay. Any other further? And Mr. Mr. Co Jay, do you want to say a few words on that? Well, um, Mr. Gilday now has the language, but basically what it does is it indicates that every year prior to the issuance of the water bills, the DPW commissioner shall obtain from the Board of Assessors a list of all the property taxpayers who in the past fiscal year qualified for one of the state's programs of property tax abatement and exemption because of low income or low assets. And that same list would be used by the DPW commissioner to abate each water bill back to basically to the minimum charge. Okay. Council, uh, Mr. Clerk, you have the, you want to read that? By adding the following new sentences to the present conclusion of the section. Prior to the preparation of the quarterly bills for water rate due, the Commission of the Department of Public Works shall obtain from the Board of Assessors of the City of Brockton a listing of the names and addresses of each property owner in the city to whom the Board has granted property tax abatements in the most recent fiscal year under the authority of Massachusetts General Law, Chapter 59, Section 5, Clauses 17D, 18, 22, 22A, 22B, 22E, 22P, 37A, 41C, or 42. For each property owner so listed, the Commission shall abate the amounts billed for water for that owner by an amount equal to 40% of the bill, unless said abatement shall cause the amount of the bill to fall below the then current minimum charge in which case the bill shall be abated to equal the amount of the minimum charge. In no case shall the abatement result in a bill which is less than the then current minimum charge. The amendment was offered by Councilor Denapoli. Do I have a second? Seconded by Councilor Duvois. 
The question now is on the amendment. All in favor? Opposed? The amendment passes. The question now is on the passage to a third reading. All in favor? Opposed? It goes to a third reading. Thank you. Resolved that a representative from the American Response M AMR be invited to appear before the Finance Committee to discuss their past practices and operational endeavors over the past 30 years servicing the City of Brockton. Refer to the Committee on Finance. Resolved that Mr. John Williams be invited to appear before the Finance Committee <coughs> to discuss his educational monitor mentoring program, Champion City, and to fully detail the success and proven benefits provided to the student participants. Refer to the Committee on Finance. And Councilors, I, I uh, neglected to mention that Councilor Sullivan had a prior commitment and that is why he is not present here this evening. And just um, two factors I just want to mention. Uh, Finance Committee meeting is next Monday evening, June 15th, right here, 7 p.m. And then we followed by the following week will be City Council, June 22nd, 2015, at 8 p.m. Council Dubois. Mr. President, may I have a moment of personal privilege? Yes, you may, Counselor. So this evening we have two really big groups of people here, and it's the first time I've noticed this many people here for two different topics in a long time. So we have um, the folks from City Life and um, Brockton... Brockton Tenants Association about the foreclosure ordinance and we have employees from AMR Ambulance about item number seven. So thank you all for coming. Thank, thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Council. <clears throat> thank you for being here. Any other business to come before this council this evening? Seeing none, meeting adjourned.